Google Ads Search Trends Insights is an area within your account, how you can review how interest between certain search term categories has changed over time. It could be week over week, month over month, or even looking at the past year. We can look at reports on how search volume has changed for certain search terms that are related to your current campaigns or ad groups, or we can get an idea of how search volume has changed for potential new search term ideas that you may want to add to your account. This is a great way to understand how demand has changed and how it can impact the growth opportunities for your Google Ads search campaigns. It's going to be different because not every account is going to have the same view. So it's just easier if I just show you myself. So let's hop in. Throughout this video, I'm going to be hopping in between a few different accounts. That is because the search trends view could be different for each account. So to find it, no matter where you are in Google ads, in the left hand menu, right under recommendations, you will see insights. So let's click on that. And I purposely started with the paid media pros demo account because we do see this screen show up on a few of our smaller accounts that we manage. Or if you check your insights frequently, you may run into this message. But if you look towards the top, right above the image, it says insights will update daily. So it's okay to make a good habit of coming back to this view and just checking this page frequently. You will see as we get into other accounts that you can give a thumbs up or thumbs down to tell Google ads if the suggestions or the insights are helpful or not helpful. We've seen the more feedback that we give, the more frequent we get some of the insights. So let me go up to the other accounts. So we can start looking at some actual search trend data. So here's one view for an account that has campaigns targeting multiple countries. And if you look at this area I'm highlighting right here, we see this specific trend is for Australia. And if we jump down to the main headline, the bigger text in bold, Google's telling us network security is trending compared to last month. So let's break this down a little bit. Network security is not just one keyword or one search term. It is a category of searches. So if you look in the area off to the right under top searches, I had to blur out some of these keywords. And then the blue part says there's 86 more searches. So the network security part is more of a search term category. And it's showing you how it's trending compared to last month. So we're seeing that search interest in Australia is up 11%. And you can see that's between 100,000 and a million searches. And then our clicks is up over 1,000%. But you see that's only about 100 clicks. I can't change anything with search interest, but if we go over to your clicks, we can choose a different option. So now let's look at costs. And if I highlight it again, it's showing us the trends for the last 28 days. It said that for clicks too, but then we could see the difference between costs from a percentage and the actual dollar amount going over again. Let's look at impressions. And there we can see how impressions have changed over the past 28 days. If we choose one of these options, we can go down to view trend details. So the top portion is still the same view that we saw on the previous screen. So I'm going to quickly go down there. We see recommendations, same stuff that you would find on the recommendations page. You can look and see if it's actually going to have an impact on there. Not truly related to the search trend section, in my opinion, and I'm not going to go over the recommendations part, but let's scroll down a little bit more to get a better understanding. So within that search category that we clicked on, we see if I move my mouse over, we're starting on your account. So it's showing us search terms that were triggered from our live campaigns. And there we have seen the difference in clicks for these search terms and then the search volume for Australia. Remember that was the country for that specific view. And just like in the previous view, instead of clicks, you can switch between the cost and the impressions. So just looking at the top row in this one box, again, I apologize. I have to blur things out. This specific search term that's coming from this specific campaign has seen a growth in impressions. And it's also seeing positive growth from overall search volume in Australia. If I wanted to view more at a time, I could add up to 25 rows to view, or I can just slide over to see different search terms and different search trend reports. So those are the ones that were just in our account. If I go over to new terms, here we might get some ideas of newer terms to consider adding to the account. If it makes sense, we see, we just have search volume, but you can still scroll over and view some different options. If I scroll down a little bit, we get a few more recommendations, of course, but in a different view, they're showing us overall campaigns. And then another cool view is that we get to see some auction insights. We understand that you can go at the account and campaign level and look at your auction insights, but this one's looking at impression share for the campaigns that fall within that one search terms category that we originally looked at. So it's kind of a different view because it's all related. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, they're giving us different trends that we can look at with different search term categories. So just like we did when we originally jumped in this account, we can go and view trend details. 
And here we get the same view just for the different search trend category. So I'm going to head back to the main insights. This is where we first jumped in within this account, scroll down a little bit and network security was the first one we looked at for Australia, but now we see it for the United States. And the Australia one that we looked at above was for last month. This United States network security category is for last month, but we can look at the same category in the United States for the last year. So over the past year, search interest has grown 11%. I could be finding out since there is a growing interest in the network security category, and if that is an important part of my business, we can see there's an opportunity there to most likely put a little bit more budget into the search terms for this category if it's important to my business and I wanna capitalize on this growth. If we scroll over a little bit, you see it's looking at network security comparing the last year, but for Australia. And if we view trend details, we can look at demand then for the past year, again, in our entire account, or maybe look at new terms that have been growing over the past year. So this is just one account and a few different options that Google is recommending. Let's hop into a different one. So I hopped into a larger account that has many campaigns and a good amount of keywords in them. And this one gives us a little bit different view. We still get the recommendations at the top that you can view, apply, ignore, that's fine. So I'm gonna jump down a little bit and here we see a different view. Instead of looking at one specific search category and how it's performing compared to the last month or the last year, this view is giving us multiple rows and each row is a different search category. Now for just choosing one search category, again, sorry, I have to blur these out. We can click on the arrow next to it to expand a specific search category. And then they're showing us the search term groupings for the main category. I'm gonna bring it back up because there's really not much to see if I have to blur everything out. But if we move over to the campaigns, it's showing us how many campaigns and how many ad groups have keywords that relate to the search terms within these categories. So in this view, I can look at the campaigns that have search terms that fall under this specific category. I can look and see if overall impressions are increasing, is search volume and search interest increasing for search terms within this category. If they are, I can change this column to potentially look at clicks, conversions, conversion value, my click-through rate, to see if it's a growing area for these campaigns within my account. You might need to look at a few other views to actually see if it's profitable or something that you do wanna invest more in. But if it is profitable, it's giving you good returns, this can give you decent insights based on growing search volume to go back to your boss, your manager, whomever, and let them know there's gonna be more opportunity to capitalize on different search terms here. Now we're looking here at the campaign view, we can head over to search terms, and there we see subcategories. So it's taking this main category that I had to blur out, and it's breaking it into subcategories. Or again, you can go over to the arrow, click on it, it's gonna break it down into much more specific search terms that you can look at, and potentially give you new ideas of keywords to either add to your account, or maybe get more aggressive on and put more budget towards if you're seeing success with it. I'm not gonna click on a drop down because I'm gonna have to blur everything out anyway. So I'm gonna close this one. Here we're back to the main search terms grouped view. And one cool thing about this view, if you do get it, is gonna be the filter. Maybe you wanna look a specific category of search terms. It's an important area for your business and you wanna see if it's growing. Do you have an opportunity to grow in this area in the future? So this, I'll just click search category. This particular account has regional campaigns. While I know I typed in a specific city, the naming convention just represents a bigger area around a larger city around the country. So for this particular client, they really wanna grow in the Seattle market. So we already have campaigns and ad groups targeting keywords that do mention Seattle in it, but we want more. We want more opportunities and we wanna see, are we hitting the right markets when we're looking at growing? So we're looking in the search categories. We can see that our own clicks are up, but search volume is only increasing in one of the search categories. But before I panic, I may want to change my date range because if I go back up, we see I'm only looking at week over week. Let's head over to month over month and that's going to change our numbers. So when I did that, not only did we get an additional Seattle category, we now see that search volume is up month over month for the Seattle search categories. Not too concerned about that third row because it's six clicks overall, so that percentage increase isn't really that big. But for the other two categories where we see 1,000 to 10,000 searches over the past month, a 20% increase is pretty good. So this could be something I want to come back to continuously if the view is showing up in my insights just to see how this Seattle search category is performing. Are we growing? So in this one, in terms of clicks, our clicks are down, but search volume is up. So I can look within the campaigns and the ad groups that are affected within the search category and see what can I do to improve clicks. Again, it all comes back to if you're seeing good performance and good return for these campaigns and ad groups. So you're gonna have to weigh in what's gonna be better for your account. I can't give you that direction. 
Now you just focused on overall growth and awareness in this area and you just want to be there and get more visibility or are you still really driven by overall performance? That's for you to decide. Now I know I looked at search category for one of the examples. I'm just going to X out of this. It's going to remove my Seattle search category filter. Then we could look at conversions growth. If you want to look at where are you converting within your account, it might help you find new opportunities to expand upon the areas that are already working well. Or you can look at search volume growth. Show me search categories that have had volume growth greater than 10% within the past month over month. I move my mouse out of the way. Again, I mentioned this is an account that focuses on specific regions. Now I can see specifically which search category regions have been showing growth over the past month. And if we look at the campaign columns, we see the number of campaigns and ad groups are different depending on what we're targeting for each of these categories. This view has been the most helpful for us to look at growth, to give us ideas on where we can try to research and expand upon the best performing areas in the account. Sometimes we see it on the flip side. Sometimes certain categories are growing and it may not be the most important part to our business. And depending on how your campaigns and ad groups are structured, you may need to split out certain categories into their own campaigns if you want to limit the budget. Sometimes search volume can grow for areas that really aren't important to your business, so you want to make sure you can control that. Just like when we really went in-depth with one search category, we can look at a variety of different columns one at a time. I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm being honest here, for this particular account, this information has been very helpful. So I would want to go down there and tell Google yes, so they can continue to provide me this type of information in the account so I can keep optimizing my search campaigns and give me new ideas to start researching to build upon the performance. So I'm going to click yes. If I scroll down a little bit, there we're seeing pretty much the same thing that we saw in the original account, different search categories and how they're trending in a specific date range. Now I'm going to hop into one last account and we're going to see one thing that you may see in your account. And I want to show you this just so you don't fully ignore this tool. And while I have to blur everything out, I can tell you this account focuses on business finance services. So every once in a while, in a few other accounts, we will see recommendations and trends like this. We have nothing in this account that has to do anything with wine. So sometimes you are going to see performance trends that aren't really relevant to your business. It is rare, but it happens. You can just go back up, give it a thumbs down, maybe give some feedback, let Google know, and hopefully I can come back and see some different insights. It's going to be more relevant to the campaigns I actually have running within this account. The insights page can be helpful to learn about emerging trends within your industry so you can identify potential new areas to target or grow within your account. You can also see, depending on which view you have, we can look at longer date ranges, either month over month, or sometimes looking over within the past year, if it shows up within the insights section, to see if there's been some sustained interest over time. Making sure that you're keeping your focus on the keywords that you're targeting to areas that have shown to have continuous search volume in the locations that you are targeting. And not just that you've added a bunch of keywords or search terms to your account that were only popular for a limited time and you're not helping your account grow. Yes, this section will combine other tools. We've seen elements of Keyword Planner within the search trend reports. We've seen elements of Auction Insights. But now it just gives you a more collective view to look at some of these with giving you more ideas of what you can test based on recent account performance. Just like many tools in Google, we don't live or die by this. This isn't the only tool we use to look for growth but it has given us some pretty good suggestions or new ideas and using the name insights on where we can grow within the account. So no matter what size account you have, check out insights, see if it's giving you some information and hopefully you can come back frequently and get new ideas to look at within your account to keep working towards continual growth. Search trends is just one of the insight types. So hopefully we can create other videos on some of the other pieces of information you can look at under the insights tab. But for now, if you have any questions on how search trends work within Google Ads, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.